Okay, when you look at martial art, a lot of students, you know, give up really soon because they go, man, it's not working. You know, like, notice during sparring, you got stabbed a few times, you have a jab or your back and then man problem, right? That's what real fighting is, right? If you watch UFC, these are really well-trained fighters and half of the punches miss. You know, if you watch boxing punches, they'll be like 25% accuracy and pay 30%. And they spend the whole entire life <laughs> learning how to box and they're still missing like a huge percentage, right? So, why do we even bother learning all these things? People always say, just buy a gun. Well, sometimes your gun is in a hoist. You can't walk into the post office with a gun. That's a federal offense. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? But you can walk into the post office with a pocket knife, mm -hmm. right? Or the post office lady goes crazy on you, grab a scissor, <laughs> right? <laughs> you have no gun. So, so, that, so the whole gun analogy does not work. Number two, there's a tempering process when you learn martial art. What I mean by tempering process is that imagine there's a sword and it takes thousands of hours to fold the sword, thousands of hours to weld the sword, thousands of hours to dip the sword. Training martial arts like that, we train our mind and body, it's that welding process. And when we do that welding process, our mind gets accustomed, not accustomed to violence, but we understand violence. And therefore, we're not either negative to it or positive to it. We just like realize the violence exists in life. And it comes toward me and I need to defend it, I will. But I'm not gonna go out and seek it. You know, I'm not gonna get angry very easily. Okay, so is that what, but you give some gun to some young teenager, some other kid pissed him off, mm -hmm. there's no tempering process. So what happened is he has the power, but he did not have the experience to gel, to back up that power, and therefore he's gonna misuse that power. And that's why by the time you get a black belt in most martial arts style, you already got beat up a hundred of thousands of times. So you get what I'm saying, that's that tempering process. So for me, I feel martial arts is very powerful for especially young people because there's a tempering process involved. You get what I'm saying? So by the time you're blacked up, man, you can kick most people's ass, and kick them in the head, you can elbow them stuff, but you're not gonna do that because you, you went through thousands of hours getting beat up yourself. You guys get what I'm saying? And that's why I think in the Japanese tradition, they weld the sword, and then when the sword's finished welding, the, the sword maker would etch his name on it, and he might even etch a saying, right? Because he hoped that the sword, you know, be put to good use, not take the sword out to kill people with it. You know what I mean? So we want that tempering process. 